Now on the floor, after months of uncertainty and doubt, Birmingham Southern is welcoming its next class to campus. That's right, and this comes after the state created a loan program that could provide 30 million in funding. Our Tristan Rupert was at today's move in day and joins us now live just off of campus. Tristan, and how was the emotion there? Because I know a lot of folks can be emotional on the first day moving in. <laughs> You're right, Brittany. For some, it almost felt like an out of body experience. Several feared this was a day that may never come. So once it did, there were a lot of people letting loose. And you don't got to take my word for it. Take a look for yourself. Cheers, dancing, and even moving. Panthers, sophomores through seniors rolled up their sleeves to help freshmen get set up on campus. Let me tell you, it is a joy to get to be here for orientation and move-in day, and we are just so glad that we all get to come back to our home on the hilltop. While the football team took the heavier items, I put some else on top of this. oftentimes up several flights of stairs, even campus leaders got involved. This is a great day. Uh, Six months ago, we weren't sure it would exist, and it, it happened, and we're really excited. For admissions staff, these last nine months have been anything but easy. Working in admissions, we have been through it this year, and it is so awesome to see all of the students that we've recruited and that we've built relationships with finally move in. However, the work doesn't end when the upperclassmen get all the boxes in the freshman's room. We're trying to get a bed skirt on, which is a lot harder than I ever thought it would be. Just trying to make it where it's walkable and try to get through and everyone's just trying their hardest to get it functioning. And no matter what level of functionality is achieved in the dorms, students are just glad they have returned. I definitely had doubts uh, that it was going to come back to this, but I mean, I kind of, I believed in the school. I believed in uh, the community. I, I just had a strong feeling that we were going to stay open and uh, I knew that this family would be connected again. Connected today, there's still a few orientation sessions before school returns on August 23rd. Reporting in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side. Alrighty, thanks, Tristan.